Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On January 21st, 2021, I introduced articles of impeachment against Joe Biden. And less than two weeks later, I was kicked off all of my committees by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. They said it was for Facebook comments and replies and likes, but we all know the truth. It was because my articles of impeachment on Joe Biden were correct. He was indeed abusing his power as Vice President of the United States. Now we have more information to prove that not only was I right then, but it was more damning than we already knew. But I'd like to roll back. President Trump was wrongfully impeached twice, twice. And both of these impeachments must be expunged by the House of Representatives. But what I'd like to talk about is the difference in the type of information we have. The Democrats brought out the Steele dossier. The Steele dossier was written as a Democrat political opposition research paper. The information was written by a contractor and it was fed to the FBI with no transparency on subsources. The contractor had no primary source information and the FBI operationalized uncorroborated claims to secure FISA warrant on political campaign official of opposing political party. Information was later debunked by Congress, the Inspector General, and Special Counsel Investigations. But the mainstream media won Pulitzer Prizes on the bogus Russia narrative. And then they led the witch hunt, leading to impeaching President Trump over a phone call with the President of Ukraine. But let me tell the House what type of information we actually have. We have an FBI form called an FD-1023 form, and here's the difference for the public listening. On the 1023 form, the information originated from an FBI informant who'd been relied upon for many years and was considered the FBI's top informant. It was also paid $200,000 for multiple years by the FBI. Information was written by the FBI agent in official FBI form and relied on no additional subsources. The FBI informant was a direct eye and ear witness to the information provided. The FBI apparently took no action to further the investigative claim. The FBI has refused to describe any investigative steps to assess the investigative information. Therefore, it has not been debunked, despite White House's lies and false claims. The mainstream media has largely ignored the story or parroted the White House false claim. What does the FD-1023 form tell you? I'll tell you exactly what it says because not only have I read it, I also have it in my possession right here. And this is a form that the entire American people, the entire public should have because it's unclassified. But Christopher Wray, the director of the FBI, forced us to read it in a skiff and would not hand it over to us. Thankfully, Senator Chuck Grassley released this form because it was provided to him by a brave whistleblower. This form entails the damning information that then Vice President Joe Biden took a $5 million bribe from the oligarch that owns Burisma. Not only did Joe Biden take a $5 million bribe, so did Hunter Biden. And what did Joe Biden deliver as Vice President of the United States? He got Viktor Shokin, the Ukrainian Prosecutor General, fired from his job. How did Joe Biden, Vice President, get that done? He threatened to withhold $1 billion of U.S. aid to Ukraine until Viktor Shokin was fired. And you want to know what? He was fired. 20, in 2016, Joe Biden himself bragged to the Foreign Council and told them that he got him fired. He bragged about it. It's on video. But that's not all they've done. Hunter Biden has also gotten his father on the phone over two dozen times to talk with his business partners and talk with them about the business that they are doing. And even more so, in our possession, through our investigations on our Republican-led committees, we also have a WhatsApp chat that says, from Hunter Biden, I am sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Who's his father? Joe Biden. Tell the director that I would like to resolve this now before it gets out of hand, and now means tonight. And it continues on. 
What I'm demanding is that the Republican-led House of Representatives move forward on an impeachment inquiry on Joe Biden, because this type of corruption should never be allowed to stand. We must expunge President Trump's wrongful impeachments, and we must impeach Joe Biden.